So, Sisa, we literally just came out of, well, we're still in a pandemic, right? But we are at a different level now. Yeah. And I know a lot of people, and I'm sure you can agree, um, kind of fell back at saving and we got into really murky waters in terms of financially. Um, as the head of retail investments at NetBank, how can you suggest to us, the GQ guy, on saving? What can we do? I heard of a tax-free. Yeah. Uh, just tell me more about that. I, I was just, firstly, I think we fell back on everything, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gym. Yes, true, true, true. <laughs> we fell back on, 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 on getting dressed up, so thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much. I had to dress up for you, too. Right. To the only thing you. we didn't fall back on was eating. That's yes. me. <laughs> same, same with me. I've I'm been, still trying to, like, uh, fix this. I also here. became a chef. Oh, wow, okay. Well, what, what, did, you, did you make uh, the banana bread? I, yeah, I was a banana well, bread girl. Them. I even got an air fryer. Oh, so wow. I, was, I, was, I was a typical lockdown um, legend. <laughs> but 100% to your point, uh, um, we have fallen back on, on, on savings. And mm. I think as, as the world picks up again, and as we get busy again, because mm. the one thing lockdown did for us that was good mm. is that we didn't have anywhere to go, right? That's true. I saved so much money on same not here. going anywhere, same here, right? Same here. Now we're getting, we're reintegrating and we're getting back into some bad habits. Mm -hmm. I would ask the GQ guy, you know, don't, don't, don't get back into your old habits that yeah. you, you, you'd kind of come out of. Mm -hmm. But I think to the, to the guy who's lost income, yeah. who's had to take care of somebody who's lost mm -hmm. income, or in some or other way, whether directly or indirectly, I would say, you know, if, if you're going to put your money away, mm -hmm. um, make sure that it's working for you. Yeah. So when you're sleeping, your money better not be sleeping. Okay. And I think one such vehicle to make sure that your money does grow, um, and, 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 and optimally so, would be the, the tax-free savings or tax-free fixed deposit or tax-free unit trust investments. Okay. But definitely a tax-free sort of savings account would put you in a better position than just leaving your money in a current account where you can access it. That's a tax-free. Yeah. Please explain that to me because... We never think anything is tax free. Yeah. Uh, what's the bracket to that? Yeah. Because I'm just thinking, you're saying tax free. I'm hearing, okay, I, yeah, please yeah, yeah. Elaborate for me. Like, yeah. Tax free. I wish my salary account. was tax free. <laughs> Tell me about that. So I'm just thinking, yeah. Yeah, it does feel like it's too good to be true. But in 2015, uh, our government introduced a tax free savings, right? Yeah. Which is essentially designed to encourage South Africans to save. save. South Africans don't save, mm -hmm. right? Um, well, informal vehicles. I think we've had we've had other sort of mechanisms for, particularly those who are not necessarily included in the financial system. Yeah, things like stock bills and etc., where people are saving. But I think the majority of South Africans have a consumerist sort of mentality. Instead of a savings. Yeah, yeah. We love flashy cars. Mm -hmm. We like going out. We like looking good, which is really not a bad thing, right? But I think it, it needs a good balance in terms of savings. So when you do put money away, you invest it, you earn interest, or rather in an interest-bearing account, where the interest that you earn is taxable. Okay. So whatever that you make mm -hmm. is actually taxable, right? Um, and like capital gains tax, that's yes, what you yes, would pay yes, on that yes, type yes, of an investment. Yes, yes. So your, your, your threshold where, where the interest that you earn is not taxable if you're under the age of 65 is 23,800. Over the age of 65 is a bit higher than that. But essentially, if you make more interest than that amount of money, you're going to have to pay tax on that interest. Yes. And I mean, not every South African would get there because we don't save that much. Mm -hmm. But I think if you, if you have multiple savings vehicles, it's really important to have an account that allows you to save without having to pay, um, to pay tax on your interest because everything else that you're saving in, you're going to have to pay tax on. Yes. And that all contributes to that threshold. Yeah. And in terms of the... the, the because it sounds exciting, yeah. sounds interesting. I'm also excited in it. What's the procedure? Do I have to to pay a high margin to to open the account? How does it work? We want blood samples. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is so simple. I think, I think firstly, psycho um, saving is a psychology, right? Mm. I, I call it a psychology because I think the poorest of the poor often save more than the richest Just of the, the rich richest, in yes. terms of the percentage of Why their income. Because when you have more, you want more. Yes. Think about that's it. True. That's true. Mm -hmm. Think about it. I mean, think about where you shop now versus yes. where you used to shop 10 years ago yeah. and you ha had less, mm -hmm. right? True, true. And I think also, I mean, guys, money is liberating. Let's, mm -hmm. let's, let's face it. Money buys you nice things and there's soft life. There's mm -hmm. all these things mm -hmm. that we like, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But I think it's very important to balance your softness yeah. with um, actually a nest egg. Yes. 
Um, so I think it's, 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 ve it's very important to get saving to be a, a mental thing first, where I call it paying yourself first. Mm -hmm. So your future self is the person you pay before you pay anyone else, so your current uh, self. So before I buy CISA now, yeah. a pair of shoes, yes. I want to be able to say, CISA in 20 years' time, here's some money towards your retirement, or I here's some money that. towards whatever you're going to need. So pay yourself first. Mm. Um, and then you ask me about what do you have to do? Yes. If you're a net bank client already, you can open um, a tax-free savings, tax-free fixed deposit, or even the tax-free unit trust on the net bank money app mm -hmm. in less than two minutes. Oh, wow. And it really is that easy. That easy? Yeah. If you, okay. And if you're not a net bank client, you can visit our online, um, our online banking through um, netbank.co.za. You can contact our contact center. Our details are on our website, as well as any of our branches. But it's not a difficult process, and you don't need... I know it's such a daunting task. People are like, I need 50 billion to start saving. Yes, you yes, really yes. don't. All you need is 500 rand to start this journey. And you really can start investing in your future self. Mm. So, so when, I, when I was reading through what you had you, you, you spoken about in terms of the tax-free account, you spoke about smart money. Yeah. That really kind of jumped up for me. Because it's a brilliant concept. So what's smart money? How would you define smart money? I think if you, if uh, like I said earlier, if your money is sleeping when you're sleeping, it's really not being smart for yeah, you, right? Yeah, like so, and and also if it's very accessible, it's not free from your not so smart moments, mm. <laughs> right? It's not safe from you. So I think smart money for me is if you put money away in an interest-bearing account, or if you're making sure that that money, however much it is, it's working as optimally as it can for you. Obviously, based on your risk profile. Um, based on how much you have to save, based on the long, the, I mean the term, the, the length of the term that you have to save. Mm -hmm. But I think it's important for you to ensure that the money that you earn um, is, is and, and you're saving is working for you a little bit harder than just sitting around waiting for you to use it on the next pair of something. Yeah, that's true, yeah. actually. And first, first question, is it ever too late to save? Is there ever an amount that's too little to save? Yeah, never too late, mm. I think. I think um, if, if I could do anything to my younger self, I would slap myself oh, up the, yeah. upside the head because I really spent a lot of money. So do you have do you still have some of those things that you spent your money uh, on? Some of them. But uh -huh. some of them I bought. I remember buying a car okay. to impress people I didn't even like. Mm. And they didn't even like me. They didn't even care about my car. <laughs> <laughs> it was like... They didn't even care. I'm like, oh, after all of that. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know? no one cares. No one cares. <laughs> so I think I, think, I, think I, I made a lot of uh, silly mistakes mm. when I was younger. And I think, um, I mean, what, 16 years into my working journey, mm. I, 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 I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm still at a point where I, I can recover. I'd be in a much better position mm. if I'd started 16 years ago. Mm. That's one thing for sure. But I am still in a place where I can recover. But I think even if you're sitting in your 40s and you're, and, you're, and, and you're really looking at your life and you're like, actually, I could do better. You can always do better. You can mm. really always, if you can put together 200 rand a month, if you can put in 100 rand a month and you can keep contributing to some kind of savings instrument, like a tax-free, for instance, you are still paying your future self yes. and you, you will never regret saving. That's the one thing. You could regret buying. I regret buying that German yes, sedan. Yes, I, did, I didn't yes, need it. I was, yes, I was so little and uh -huh. big carbs. I, you know, I thought it made it. Mm, mm. I regret that, but I will never, ever regret putting money away. Not for anything. You know what I love, actually? I never thought of it this way. The fact that you're paying your future self. Yeah. Because every time we hear about paying yourself, we yes. think, let's pay now. And then paying your future self really just puts everything into perspective. Yeah, yeah. See, sir? Thank you. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it was, right? Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.